There are several Hugo video games based on early episodes of ITE's television show Hugo and are a part of the international Hugo franchise. From 1992 to 2000, ITE developed and released versions for Amiga, Commodore 64 and PC, as well as for PlayStation consoles, exclusively for European markets. Since 2011, Crea Media, Hugo Games has published a series of mobile game remakes for Android. Online slot machine adaptations were also released in 2016 and 2018. The games closely resemble the early editions of the TV show they have been adapted from. In almost all of them, the player guides the titular protagonist, a small, friendly troll named Hugo, to save his wife and children from the evil witch Skyla. To rescue his family, Hugo must navigate safely through dangerous environments in various minigame scenarios. History Two Amiga games, Hugo originally titled Hugo, Pa Nye Aventer, Del 1 and its sequel, Hugo 2 originally Hugo, Pa Nye Aventer, Del 2 were released in 1991 and 1992. They were re-released as a 1994 compilation, Hugo, Hugo Pa Nye Aventer, and ported to the PC in 1995-1996. Both games were similar to the television show where the contestant would try to complete arcade sequences to collect points and avoid obstacles using a phone, and the ending minigames are identical to the ones seen on TV. Later PC releases included Hugo 3 to Hugo 6, Hugo, Wild River 1998, and their upgraded compilations Hugo Gold 1998, Hugo Plotting 1999, and Hugo XL 1999. .Several of the releases were partially incorporated into 2000's Hugo, Die Gebertstagsparty and Hugo Safari both of which were also based on newer Hugo works and the Hugo Classic Collection compiling the first titles. The latter consisted of seven or eight releases depending of country, Hugo Classic 1-4, based on the original series, and Hugo Classic 5-6 based on the Hugo, Jungle Island series. The two PlayStation games, which reused the titles Hugo and Hugo 2, are compilation remakes of the computer games. They feature improved graphics and sound including musical tracks for each stage, and also a rendered opening animation in Hugo 2. In 1997, Hugo 2 was also ported by Laguna and Infogrames to the Game Boy. Hugo 2 features simplified graphics and gameplay. The game was later ported to the Game Boy Color by Bit Managers and Infogrames in 1999 under the title Hugo 2 and a Half. <laughs> gameplay In the game's story, a horrible witch named Skyla also known as Skulla and named differently in some countries, including Offskylia in the original Danish version, and resembling the Dark Queen from Battletoads arrives at the home of Hugo the Troll and kidnaps his wife Hugoline and their three young children Rit, Rat and Rut because she needs them for a magical beauty treatment. Hugo must reach and rescue Hugolina and the children, and defeat the witch to bring peace to the woods. The player must complete a number of minigames and guessing games, most have 2.5D graphics and are controlled with button presses as Skyla the Witch watches Hugo's progress and casts spells to stop him from reaching her lair in the Skull Cave at a mountain peak. During the games Hugo, voiced in Danish by Michael Brockdorf and German by Michael Habeck, Oliver Grimm and Oliver Beyer, and Skyla, voiced in Danish by Winnie Engel and in German by Karen Kern K, communicate with the player with digitized speech, and can also knock on or scratch the screen from the inside, breaking the fourth wall. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Mini games. In order of release. Labyrinth. Hugo must find his way through a labyrinth, avoiding dynamite and mined wagons before a box of TNT destroys the maze, and cross a bridge before facing three doors, one of which holds a prize. It has first appeared in Skarmtralden Hugo, the original Hugo game released for the Commodore 64, and was used in Hugo Gold, Hugo die Gebertstagsparty, and in a revised form in Hugo Retromania. Mountaineering. Hugo runs up a mountain, dodging rolling boulders while trying to collect bags of gold. It appeared in Hugo, Pa Nye Aventer, Hugo I, 2, PC, Hugo Gold, Hugo XL, Hugo Safari, Hugo Classic 1 and Hugo for the PlayStation. Handcar. Hugo finds an old track leading to Skyla's lair. 
The player helps the troll and his handcar reach their destination by changing tracks, dodging oncoming steam engines, either on freight or passenger workings, and collecting bags of gold. It appeared in Hugo, Pa Nye Aventer and Hugo I, II, PC, Hugo Gold, Hugo XL, Hugo Die Gebertstagsparty, Hugo Classic 1, PC, Hugo, PlayStation, and in a revised form in Hugo Troll Race. Plane. The troll flies a biplane through a thunderstorm caused by Skyla, avoiding lightning clouds and TNT balloons while collecting gold. It appeared in Hugo, Pa Nye Aventer Del 2 and Hugo I, II, PC, and remade for Hugo Gold, Hugo XL, Hugo Safari, Hugo Classic 1 and Hugo PlayStation. Forest. Hugo wanders through a dark forest, avoiding traps set up by Skyla. It appeared in Hugo, Pa Nye Aventer Del 2 and Hugo I, II, PC, Hugo Gold, Hugo XL, Hugo Classic 1 and Hugo for the PlayStation. Ice Cavern. Hugo finds a secret back entrance to the witch's lair, and must keep moving across mobile ice pillars while collecting three jars and memorizing their order. It appeared in Hugo 3 PC, Hugo Gold, Hugo 2 PlayStation, Hugo Plotine and Hugo Die Gebertstagsparty. Lumberjack Hugo floats downstream on floating logs, hopping between logs to avoid branches and collect sacks of gold. If he stays on a log too long, he will lose balance. It appeared in Hugo 3, Hugo Gold, Hugo XL and Hugo PlayStation. Scuba. Hugo dives in a river, avoiding fish, crabs and octopi and collecting treasure chests. He must surface for air, and turn to avoid waterfalls. It appeared in Hugo 3, Hugo Gold, Hugo XL and Hugo for PlayStation. Skateboard. Hugo skates down a wooden halfpipe, avoiding broken sections followed by boulders, bridge holes and beaver dams and collecting bags of gold. It appeared in Hugo 3, Hugo Gold, Hugo XL, Hugo Die Gebertstagsparty and Hugo for PlayStation. Ballooning. Hugo steers a hot air balloon to avoid canyons, spikes and collapsing cliffs. When his balloon punctures, the player must control it through a tunnel without hitting its walls. It appeared in Hugo 4, Hugo Plotine and Hugo Classic 2 PC. Dolmen Cave. A revised. Labyrinth. Scenario where Hugo navigates an underground maze to reach a mountaintop. The player must find the right path quickly, avoiding traps before Skyla floods the maze. It appeared in Hugo 4, Hugo Plotine, Hugo Die Gebertstagsparty and Hugo Classic 2 PC. Motorcycle. Hugo navigates an old mountain road, dodging goats, potholes, rocks and other obstacles. The player must collect gasoline while keeping an eye on the map and directing Hugo. It appeared in Hugo 4, Hugo Plotine, Hugo Die Gebertstagsparty and Hugo Classic 2. Snowboarding. Hugo snowboards down the mountain, following tracks towards Skyla's lair. Unfortunately, the witch knows Hugo's plans and has started an avalanche, adding a ticking clock to the game. The track down the hill often splits, leaving some dead ends and passing through fast and slow slopes. Hugo swings on his snowboard, avoiding rolling snowballs and steep chasms while collecting gold. This was released in Hugo 4, then remade twice, first for both Hugo Plotine and Hugo Classic 2, and then for Hugo 2 PlayStation. Parachute Hugo parachutes to the witch's hideout in the forest, avoiding birds and storm clouds while collecting bags of gold. It appeared in Hugo 5, Hugo Plotine and Hugo Classic 3 for PC. Cliffhanger. Hugo climbs a mountain, avoiding gargoyles, asteroids and dynamite and collecting bags of gold. It appeared in Hugo 5, Hugo Plotine, Hugo Die Gebertstagsparty, Hugo Classic 3 and Hugo 2 for the PlayStation. Wood Jumping. Hugo crosses a gorge by hopping across flat-topped tree trunks and an oddly placed bridge, avoiding dynamite, beavers and steel traps. On the edge of the track are owls and frogs, which the player must remember. It appeared in Hugo 5, Hugo Plotine and Hugo Classic 3. Sledge. Hugo sleds down a hill, avoiding birds and snowmen while collecting bags of gold. It appeared in Hugo 5, Hugo Plotine, Hugo Classic 3 and the PlayStation Hugo 2. Mine track. Hugo barrels down a mine shaft in search of an exit, avoiding obstacles in the ceiling and corridors and collecting gold. It appeared in Hugo 6, Hugo Die Gebertstagsparty, Hugo Classic 4 and Hugo 2 for the PlayStation. More. 
Hugo must cross a moor to reach Skyla's lair, avoiding mud holes and colonies of bats, before solving a test. It appeared in Hugo 6, Hugo Classic 4 and Hugo 2 for the PlayStation. Boulders. Hugo flees from enormous boulders, avoiding obstacles such as dead ends, tree roots and lava pits. If Hugo runs out of time, a powder barrel blows up and destroys the rope bridge that leads to Skyla's lair. It appeared in Hugo 6 and Hugo Classic 4. Wild River. Hugo rides a barrel downstream, avoiding whirlpools and boulders. There are periodic waterfalls, for which Hugo must shut the lid of his barrel and direct himself left or right, using a map to find his way. It appeared in Hugo 6, Hugo die Gebertstagsparty and Hugo Classic 4. End games If the players manage to complete the journey and reach their destination, Hugo proceeds to one of the final minigames. Lightning bolts. Hugo must hop through a large chessboard to collect a key and open a door, avoiding lightning bolts hurled by Skyla. It appeared in Hugo 3 Hugo 4, Hugo 5 Hugo 6, Hugo Gold, Hugo Plotin, Hugo die Gebertstagsparty, Hugo Safari, Hugo 2 PlayStation, and Hugo Classic 1-4. Key. Hugo must select the correct key to open Skyla's treasure chest. If he guesses incorrectly or takes too long to choose, metal spears will surround him. It appeared in Hugo 3 Hugo 4, Hugo 5 Hugo 6, Hugo Gold, Hugo Plotin, Hugo die Gebertstagsparty, Hugo Safari and Hugo Classic 1-4. Ropes. In front of Skyla and his family held captive, Hugo Guess selects one of three ropes. Two of the ropes will free his family from the cage, and then Skyla will be either captured and punished by being tied up and ejected out of window via springboard, doubling the score points, or she will transform into a bird and escape, leaving the score the same. If Hugo chooses incorrectly, however, it is him who will be bound and defenestrated. It appeared in Hugo, Pa Nye Aventur, Hugo I, 2, PC, Hugo 3, Hugo 4, Hugo 5, Hugo 6, Hugo Gold, Hugo Plotin, Hugo XL, Hugo Die Gebertstagsparty, Hugo Safari, Hugo PlayStation, and Hugo Classic 1-4. Some games feature alternative final minigames that do not take place in Skyla's lair. Apple Harvest Two of Hugo's children throw apples from a tree. Hugo tries to catch enough in a basket to make juice. It appeared in Hugo Plotin. Magic Hands. A shell game in which the player watches one of Hugo's children place a bead under a shell and shuffle several shells and must select the shell with the bead under it. It appeared in Hugo Plotin and Hugo XL and was hidden in Hugo for the PlayStation. The player needs to complete the game in arcade mode, collecting all bonus, then complete the ropes end scene by shooting Skyla out of her lair. Topic. Reception The games received mixed and often negative reviews. According to Francisco Delgada from Spanish magazine PCmania, while Hugo is not a bad game, it is a bit bland and repetitive, especially since the video game version only differs from television game in its difficulty. Arkadius Maczynski from Polish magazine Swiat Gier Komputerowicz recommended it as a fantastic game for younger Amiga users, but noted the more mature audience might get bored quickly. Other reviewers were harsher. Mike Goldsmith from Arcade wrote about the PlayStation releases. Advertised as being designed for children aged 6 plus, Hugo will come off as simplistic at best, patronizing at worst, a real shame given the quality of edutainment titles that could be ported from PC and Mac. Nevertheless, the games were a commercial success. The original PC release has remained Germany's number one best-selling PC floppy disk game for a long time, including in March 1995, June 1995, July 1995, October 1995, and November 1995. Retrospectively, PlayStation Official Magazine listed Hugo, described as bloody rubbish, atop its list of worst PlayStation characters. In 2012, Game Informer made a replay section retro video poking fun at the PlayStation Hugo and Bubsy 3D. In August 1998, the first Hugo's Game Boy version received a platinum 
Sales award from the Verband der Unterhaltungssoftware Deutschland VUD, indicating sales of at least 200,000 units across Germany, Austria and Switzerland. Hugo 2 for the Game Boy received a gold award, for 100,000 sales, at the same time. <laughs> Legacy Topic: Crea Media Remakes. Topic: Online Slot Adaptation. Hugo Online Slot Game based on the game was developed by Play and Go in 2016. In Denmark, it was released exclusively for Royal Casino. Dk. Its story involves finding treasures in a mine and rescuing Hugolina from Oskylia, Skyla. It was followed by Hugo II, partially based on Ice Cavern, in 2018. Topic. See also. Hugo franchise.